Good Morning Cybertron is a podcast intended for adults and is not suitable for those under the age of 18. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the junk man in the junk room listening to Good Morning Cybertron because I guess I have nothing better to do. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Good Morning Cybertron. I am your host, Scott. I'm, uh, the first thing that I need to say is, did you know that less than a dollar a day would be enough to feed a starving child in Zimbabwe or some other African country? It's true. <laughs> However, I can tell you for a fact, I've been seeing these starving kid commercials since I was a child. Now, the problem hasn't gone away, even though we've given a lot of money to that. So I am offering a different solution. Let's all give no money to the starving children. I think this problem will solve itself in about two or three months. <laughs> now, what can we do with all that money? Why don't you come on over to Patreon? You feed a starving kid over there. That kid's st there's still going to be starving children over there in 40 years, right? You give it to us over on Patreon, you get... Not some letter from some kid who, whose letters are all backwards and ridiculous. Stupid kid can't even draw a cow. Or what they call it a Watusi. The, no, you get a wonderful pre-show every single week, provided the recording doesn't fuck up. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, we're, Scott Mort and Good Morning Cybertron are going to be the guys that solved world hunger. Just stop giving them money. Give us the money. We're the ones that solved the problem yeah. with us today. <laughs> Honest to God, he came up with this entire plan. It wasn't me. It's Xavier. Uh, honestly, I'm just a scumbag looking for a hit. Uh, give me your money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from Sweden, the, the country that I actually saw somebody say was worse than death <laughs> to this week. It's wholesome. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, when it's cold hello, and you never see the sunlight. <laughs> it is quite depressing in this time of year. Oh. Everything, when the sun is up, everything is brown because uh, there's no snow and there's no uh, leaf or anything. Oh. Autumn leaves. And when the rest of the day, it's fucking pitch black. Oh, my God. I, I, I got to tell you, before we get to our... our... Well, you know what? He, he lives in a cold part of the world, too. This is... Thomas. Thomas is from Canada. How, how's the weather up there? Oh, it uh, melted a bit last night and then froze again this morning. So now friction isn't the thing. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't exist <laughs> yeah. here in Johnstown either. Uh, <laughs> Johnstown, the, the city I live in, Johnstown, is an absolute hellhole. Uh, we are in the season known as gray right now. Um, mm -hmm. the, the other night, this is the God's honest truth. The other night, my, my wife and I, uh, my, my lovely black wife, that'll play in later here, my lovely black wife, Ariana, not that I have a white one or a Chinese one stored away. She's the only wife I have. Um, th we decided to go to Dollar Tree. So I went, I went for envelopes, and I went for, uh, I went for a container to put my SD cards in. So, of course, I bought $25 worth of stuff. Um, so we're walking through the Dollar Tree and there's a guy, there, there's this center for, for mentally disadvantaged people mm -hmm. called the Hiram G. Andrews Center that's close by. So the guy in the next register over, it, it seems he's obviously from this center. They have, him, they have him out trying to interact, right? So he has like all these movies that he wants to watch. They're a buck a piece. It's Dollar Tree. And he's trying to buy these movies, but he doesn't have enough money. So he, goes, I'll, I'll, he takes like three of them. And goes, I'll, I'll, I'll put these back. And then, okay. 
and I'm looking at him, and I, I'm at the, uh, my register. And I said, hey, buddy, can I, can I see those three movies you're putting back? And he goes, yeah. I hands them to me. I just hand them to my cashier. And I said, scan these, please. And she scans them, goes to put them in the bag. And I said, no, no, hand them to me. And I hand them back to the guy, and I said, Merry Christmas, right? So first thing, the woman goes, oh, that's so sweet. My wife comes up next to me, puts her arm around me, and goes, that's why I married him. And you should have seen the look on this woman's face. The look that said, I thought we made laws against that. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets, it gets so much better. It gets so much better. At that point, the guy goes, wow, thank you. Hey, don't worry about it. Merry Christmas. Just a few bucks. Goes, Are you guys from Johnstown? I said, not originally, but we live here. He goes, I knew it. Everybody from Johnstown's a dick. He says it just <laughs> like that, right? So at this point, like, like Ariana, yeah, all right. This guy that's about two people behind us in the register went, used to be able to fucking beat up people like that. Wow. Like he says it out loud, right? I didn't say oh, anything boy. at the time. I wanted to. I didn't say anything at the time. I wanted to, but I didn't want it to become a thing of like, man does good deed. Three dead, five wounded. So I waited until, <laughs> I waited until we were outside. And I went, I looked at my wife and I said, all he had to do to prove him wrong was shut up. The dude had to do nothing and he would have proved the other guy wrong. But by going, we used to beat up, beat the fuck out of people like that. You proved him right. You're a dick. People from Johnstown are dicks. Self-fulfilling, I right. guess. That's my Christmas miracle. <laughs> that sounded like it came from a movie it fucking i fucking live in an onion article xavier said it first and it's the goddamn truth thank god it, it, listen you need to get over to our facebook page kit kat uh the wife of silver moon raccoon kit kat has a lovely story over there that's much more heartwarming than mine so go over join the good morning cybertron facebook page there's plenty of bullshit over there too you're gonna have a blast every day there's some ridiculous bullshit like megatron wearing a mario hat or something i don't fucking know Today I posted Mega like Mario. <laughs> yeah. Today I posted like the GoBots carrier being taken down by fucking snow speeders. Uh, <laughs> now we we do have a thing we like to do here. Uh, we're running out of the books, so we'll probably go to other books because we're just having so much fun with this. This is the Find Your Fate series. We are playing along. We are letting our listeners decide the fate. Now. To, to kind of to kind of like go back on this, we had a decision. Do we give the antidote to the Autobots or do we use the fuel as a fucking weapon? Xavier wanted to use the fuel as a weapon. Uh, Me too. Duh. I said, given the antidote, the listeners have spoken. Weaponize the fuel. Oh, Merry yes. Christmas. Yeah, you have made you have fucking made Xavier's day. We are going to weaponize yes. the fuel. <laughs> well, okay. Here, here we, we go. go baby. So, so here we are. Here, here we go. go. We got to turn to page 19 here. Page go 19. Michael Bay route. Yeah, absolutely. Move this out of the way. Optimus Prime decides to turn the Decepticon poison against them. He surveys the Autobot still in working condition. Grapple. He says, we need your strength and skill. You must transport this Decepticon poison outside. Grapple shifts his powerful gears and moves to the huge silver tank. Optimus Prime secures steel cables around it. Then he hooks them up to Grapple's crane. <clears throat> Stand back, Autobots, the construction vehicle orders. Wow! Bumblebee shouts as Grapple grinds his gears and picks up the tank as if he's never seen Grapple before. Four million <laughs> years this yellow fuck has worked with this other yellow fuck. And they don't know each other. Clear way. Optimus Prime bellows. Instead of clear the way, which would have made more sense. But prepositions. And the Autobots instantly clear a path for Grapple to the door of the headquarters. Just then, Red Alert zooms in, his siren screaming, They're putting chemtrails in the air! Ten minutes, he shouts. They'll be here in ten minutes. Call it, Red Alert, Grapple shouts, or you'll get a real hot bath. I need room to pass. Red Alert shifts into reverse and screeches out of Grapple's way. For some reason, I just imagined Red Alert was in bot mode. Turn to page 13. I was wrong. I need pictures. 
So here we go, page 13. Outside, Optimus Prime leads the way to a big pit just below headquarters. This will be the poison pit, he tells Grapple. Remember, yes. treat, the, treat this tank as gently as a Lilith egg? What's a Lilith egg? The, um, the egg of a oh, Babylonian oh. demon? It says it right here. It says Optimus Prime, referring to the lovely glass-like birds of their home planet, Cybertron. <clears throat> I've never heard of a Lilith before. That's uh that's a Vicky entrance we got it. Right? Yeah. Let's see if that's in there. Let's see if that's in the TF wiki. So also I'm surprised yeah, Cybertron has biblical references right? to Adam's first wife. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. There's actually an entry. A Lilith is a as a type of beautiful glass-like bird native to the planet Cybertron. Its eggs are notably fragile. Oh. That this is not like something uh, you should be able to uh, 3D print. Yeah. Fuck. Can we can we take a moment to go, God damn TF Wiki, that's impressive. Yeah, that I impressive. don't even think Walter knows about that one. <laughs> that's that's a fucking deep ass cut. I wonder what oh, it yeah. tastes like. Probably glass. And oh, trust me, shit. from someone who knows, that's not a pleasant feeling. Well, if you Gla stop trying to eat them through your feet. Yeah. Glass and res razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> well, razor blades for a side dish. You need some salad. Grapple mm -hmm. pushes his levers down and slowly lowers his load. Easy, easy, the Autobot leader cautions. At last, the tank lands at the bottom of the pit with a soft plop. There's your egg, Grapple says proudly. Ready to fry the Decepticons. Optimus Prime hurries down to open the tank's valves. <clears throat> the poison jet fuel flows out into the pit. <clears throat> Jazz! Optimus Prime tells that. Right here, motherfucker! The cool sports car replies from his lead aside. I'm opening up my goddamn flamethrower, bitch! The rest of you get inside. You should be safe from the fumes, Optimus Prime orders. The Decepticons are in sight! Jazz looks at the western sky. Decepticon planes dot the horizon like a horde of insects. We have to wait until the last possible second, Optimus Prime tells Jazz to turn to page 31. Oh, there they are. Very toy accurate. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Oh, yes. 31. Okay. The roar of the Decepticon jets is louder now. In seconds, they'll be right over the poison pits. Now, the Autobot leader shouts. Jazz activates his flamethrower. A ribbon of fire shoots out of it with a fiery whoosh. It hits the poison pit. The burning gas leaps into the sky like a huge orange hot air balloon. Shit, Jazz exclaims, impressed by his own work. Run for it, Optimus Prime yells, grabbing Jazz to make a hasty retreat. Seconds later, they dive inside headquarters. Up in the air, Ramjet and Starscream are in the middle of their attack dives. As the poison gas ignites, they turn their noses upward to try to swoop above the pit, but it's too late. The Decepticons choke and sputter. Ramjet crashes into the hillside with a bad dose of his own medicine. Starscream makes an emergency landing too close to the fiery pit. His metal parts begin to melt into a putrid puddle. It looks like the Decepticons are done for. Oh, but wait! There on the horizon are two of the most dreaded Decepticons, Frenzy and Laserbeak. If you decide to step on them, Turn to page 58. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cassettes, man. I... Moving to 58. Let's see here. The two battle-crazy Decepticons dive through the poison cloud to charge Autobot headquarters. They drop bombs that make the Autobots reel inside their home. But the enemy planes have lingered too long in the cloud of poison fumes. Their engines hesitate, then sputter, then choke. Frenzy and Laserbeak go into wild tailspins. Are the, are these two Decepticons in planes of their own? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but the enemy planes have lingered too long. Okay. The rest of the Decepticon attack force sees them, turns tail, and runs back home. Inside the headquarters, the Autobots erupt into victory cheers. When a big battle comes, Bumblebee shouts, the Decepticon always chokes. Rats, am I too late for the action? Sunstreaker yells, rushing up to Optimus Prime. But you're supposed to be sick, the leader says in amazement. You were poisoned. You weren't vaccinated. 
You weren't wearing a mask, Sunstreaker. How is this possible? Turn to page 63 to find out. Jesus, even for... <laughs> How did he survive on the next mm. Telemundo? Me? Dot, 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 sick? Sunstreaker asks, flexing his orange muscles. I'm the guinea pig. Perceptor poured some of his antidote into my gas tank, and now I feel like decking some Decepticons. Save your energy. Optimus Prime tells him with a smile. At least, until we get a new supply of fuel. The motherfucking end. <laughs> okay, this is what? This is three for three that we've had good endings on? I, I don't think there's a, like a real downer ending in these children's books. Let's that find out. <laughs> Let's find out here. <laughs> Everybody yes. dies. The end. Uh... If only, right, Wholesome? <laughs> I think it's really funny that, that you know, weaponize, weaponize the stuff was the good one. Yeah. Was the good ending. <laughs> you know, it as, as cool as it was for them to go light the motherfucking pit of poison on fire, it's just not everything you need, is it? I, I, was, hope, I was hoping, Scott, you put on the accent of grapple and go grab <laughs> L, the, with the two P's and the E and the L spelling. Mm -hmm. Never even thought about it. Never even thought about it. Oh, son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on here. I'm looking for the end. So far, I've only seen the one. Um, let's see. Frenzy is a plane. Laser, ba laser beak is a jet. Laser uh, beak. Here we go. Grapple manages... Let's see. Below, empty. Grapple manages. Is retreating. They're retreating. Are there good endings at all? An Autobot poison antidote. I want to see one where all the Autobots die. I was trying to get us there, and you're like, let's take the oh, safer route. Oh, shit. Here it is. Perceptor's <gasps> miscalculation has left the Autobots real short-handed and short-legged. The Decepticons will make short work of them now. Ooh. What if... Do they... Do they stick their robococks in their mouth? What uh, happens? Let's see. Cheering erupts in the headquarters. Sunstreaker and Braun hoist Perceptor on their shoulders like a hero, but seconds later, disaster strikes. Sunstreaker and Braun crumble to the ground, dropping Perceptor as they fall. Their arms and legs snap off from their bodies. Perceptor stares oh, in horror ah! at the other Autobots he traded. Their joints are breaking off, too. Part of the Autobots hit the floor with sickening crashes. <laughs> oh, no. Gold Damn. plastic syndrome in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> they all come to build the figures. Yeah. Uh -huh. So no, there were there were some bad endings, I guess. Oh, we tried. We Why tried, Jens. We really tried. Yeah. Yeah, the next so one. The next one here. On the ground, Optimus Prime watches in horror. The Autobots' mission has failed. The Decepticons will control the humans. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. The, unless another antidote can be found, the only real antidote now is to close the book and find a happier fate to follow. <laughs> oh shit! So you, yeah, <laughs> it's page to, turn to page death, and then there's Optimus Prime. He turns to the reader and he points a finger and says, "You did this. You killed the Autobots by choosing our fate." My God, I think there might be there might be more. There might be more bad endings than good. Prowl covers him face in shame. His strategy was a disaster, and so uh, he wishes you picked up a different path. And so do you. Since you and the rest of humankind must now drink from the poison bitter cup of failure. Bottoms up, bitch. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, shit. We dodged some bullets here, lads. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah. I, I was running towards the bullets. Right, and yet you won anyway. And your prize is SirToys.com. Holy Woo. shit. Long time sponsor of the show. Uh, just purveyor of all sorts of awesomeness, really. Let's talk about the awesomeness this week. $14.99, you can get a Cyber Battalion Megatron with a team. Look at his team. Look at it! Ah, I'm looking. Oh. There it is. There it is. Jesus. Are these uh, Bed Bath & Beyond soaps? I, I, think, I think this is right here. This guy to the left is bed. Uh, the one in the middle is bath, and the other one is beyond. <laughs> My God. You could, you could probably, uh, if you get the entire set, you could uh, actually switch parts around so you get uh, a bunch of figures in one color scheme. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I bet you know, could. I bet you I didn't could. know acid trip was a disguise. Yeah, it can be. Man, there. I think there the guy some... who, who designed the Carlos was on an acid trip. Absolutely. This this is the one that got me. I'm a huge fan of these goofy fucking Dinobots that the dinosaur heads are the dicks. And yes. <laughs> even though this isn't what happened in this case, this look these are the same basic designs. I kind of want this. This is a Brachiosaur. Look at the size of him next to a deluxe. Damn. I wow. like that they Ooh, he's yeah, got like really these little tiltable cannons inside the tail. They actually used the hollow space for something. Right about is, the time. <laughs> is this a preview of Jurassic Park Lost World 2? Yes. Yes, it is. They've been robots this entire time. <laughs> that was almost the plot of the first Chris Pratt movie. Really? You didn't know? I know that there was like one uh, one Jurassic Park movie where they had half human, half dino dinosaur assassins, but I didn't know about the robots. No. Oh no, it's the assassins plot. It was they're gonna you know they're gonna create some sort of mutant hybrid, and uh, I was like this this surely would have been it, right? It's just like enough firepower and I guess blade power to to wipe out a small park of uh, innocent humans. Oh man, I think I want this China main battle tank. 96B. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, this one is making the rounds so, uh, online, yeah. Man, that is nice. I think this is it's... the one that where the tank turret can come off and form a shield, I think. Yep, I remember. Man, yep. that is nice looking. I'm not going to lie. That's that's like a 50. That's worth the 58 bucks in my opinion. <clears throat> yes, very good. You can. Absolutely. If if you, the viewer at home, would love any of these products, you know, or many, many of the other fine products at Sir Toys, do us a favor. Click that link in the description down below, www.sirtoys.com slash question mark A equals 16. You get what you want. You don't pay a penny more. We get a little something on the side to keep the lights going. Paul gets your business. Uh, my cat is adorable. I, I have clothes drying and they're, and they're all dry on the rack and he's sleeping on it face down. I'm, and more dollars mo translates to more one and those yeah. fucking stupid starving kids in africa can go fuck themselves yeah. they don't deserve your dollars lousy bastards i'm going to turn this around and see if i can get wilford sleeping you you want to help them <laughs> you tell them get a job <laughs> is he sleeping like that yeah, he's sleeping like that that's wilford his head's not even supported no it's not oh hey wilford <laughs> kitty 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 hey buddy sorry i didn't oh. mean to wake you i love you buddy Diabetes. 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 Oh my <laughs> God, that was that was worth me turning the camera off and back on. <laughs> oh, he's my little buddy. I love him. He's my he's one of my orange fellows. My God, we finally got to see Bumblebee movie RC, the toy design revealed, and ladies and gentlemen, it looking good. It looking real good. Um, doot, 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 doot. <clears throat> I am sharing the screen, right? Yes, yes. you are. Yes, yes. Indeed. So let's see here. Let me see if I can find that. There we go. There is RC, the toy design. Yes. And there's RC from the movie. Cool. I love how they, they, they've taken the two concepts that, that she's always had, you know, where sometimes she's a bike and sometimes she's a car. And now you she's just kind of. Way. Yeah. Kind She's of kind of both now. Mm -hmm. She's almost right. the fucking Batmobile. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's it's very nice how it's like. It's true. You're right. It's part tumbler, but it's also very recognizable as a a Barbie dream car that has both its uh its front facing motorcycle bit and the wider tapered ends that have the the evocation of the movie. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it also is. really good because now it cheats the design where they're always like oh you know we had to stick to the original designs of the uh the car from the movie so like the mass shifting doesn't work and that's why your rc figure looks a little weirder than usual and maybe a bike rc wasn't the best idea and that's why she looks a little weirder than usual i did grab this uh this image right here trim it down a little bit and then i posted with the uh i posted on twitter and the facebook crush me mommy uh <laughs> <laughs> i think i saw that yeah 
this this is a fantastic fantastic design and like i can't get over i cannot get over there's the movie there it is straight from the movie no alt mode right there there's the toy design right holy yeah. shit holy yeah, shit. nice if Did i me... had to nit nick pick i had to wonder how would she turns her front wheel when she's in trike mode yeah how does the steering work Maybe it's like yeah. gyroscopic. You just lean into it. Mm. Mm. Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess we can suspend our disbelief a little. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, god damn. Oh, and, and the toy is ready. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sling oh. bikini and all. This bitch ready to bot mode. Right? This, this is amazing to me. Number, number one, we're going to be getting this for like 22 bucks. There's the uh, Pornhub shop. There, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. I mean, this is really stinking incredible. That's mm -hmm. the, the toys that are coming out of the studio series for the Bumblebee movie have been absolutely mm -hmm. some breathtaking designs. It's... I, think, I think it's because people can finally care about it. It's just like, oh, man, thank you for making a, a Transformers movie we can get behind right. and not not saying not you know not blocking an umpteenth request for like hey can you make a a real accurate romeo and juliet card it's just like oh fuck it stop F and die finally we we've got we've got somebody in there that it seems like okay we're gonna we're gonna have these two new, new robots shatter and dropkick okay so we're gonna have them they'll be their own designs but how about we get a bunch of like the 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 fan favorite robots in there and we're just gonna tweak them up a little bit, make them movie esque, but not too movie esque. And that's that's kind of what they did. And I mean, this scene made me cry. It really did. It's, made me who, cry. Who is, it's really great. Yeah. Who is that to the left of RC? Braun, I, mean, I think. Uh, this is Braun over here, and this is Cliff Jumper over here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no, that's that that Cliff Jumper on the right is the whole version of Cliff Jumper. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's an he, it's the rare entire cliff jumper. He's he ain't lasting long. Yeah, poor Casey Kasem. And they even got like the little uh, the little antenna that pops up whenever whenever she puts her finger to her ear. They even put that on the toy. And I oh, thought, it is. Yeah, yeah. is yeah, it hold there? On. Let me find. There it is. Boop. See it there? Yeah. Oh, that is. I thought that was just a pixel out of place. Mm. Nope, that is. The little antenna popping up. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That is great. It is, man. And it's nice to see an RC that's kind of thickums for once. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the Barbie proportions were uh, understandable, right? Because it's like, that's what the original design was. And if you don't get accuracy, the, the fans really fucking riot. I think, it, I think Sir Mix-a-Lot said it best when I like him thick and juicy. So give me that juicy double. Makes a lot's in trouble. Beg him for a piece of that bubble. Are you quoting the <laughs> song or the Burger King commercial he was yes. in? Yes. Knew it. <laughs> yes. Just yes. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm back on my diet. I'm trying to lose weight again because uh, Ariana made a good point the other day. I'm much older than her, and she's going to remarry. So it's my job to stay alive now as long as I can. Uh <laughs> Well, son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like, Scott, I love you for as long as I don't have to pay your medical bills. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So. No, no, no. She's she's taking wonderful care of me. But my like one of my friends went, Ariana, how, like, she's like two or three young years younger than you, right? No, she's 30. I'm 47. Yeah, he like lifted his fist and went, damn. <laughs> I got a fist bump out of that in the age of COVID. <laughs> and then... Uh, she also transformed into a car and drove away. Yeah, I've I've got a fucking wife who's much taller, much younger, and foreign and black. I want a game you didn't even realize you could play. Is Every she taller than you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's 5'10". Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm 5'5", five, 5'6", five, 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 somewhere. Step somewhere on me, blues. mommy. No, no, no. Every day I stand on my tiptoes and motorboat my snooze new wife. It's... <laughs> <laughs> 
Scott, at least you didn't marry a size queen when it comes to physical height. Absolutely. Other size. Yeah, other absolutely. sizes count. Like the size of your heart. Merry Christmas. Grab her boobs like two giant oak doors and swing them wide. And bam. Anyway. That can't be good for her health or her bra. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she worries about my health. Her, the elasticity of her tits. Nah, that's mine. Oh, my God. But anyway, back to stuff that isn't going to land me a divorce. Um, <laughs> yeah, love this RC. Now, we did have a per possible sighting of Buzzsaw. Oh, oh yes, that was the one that I found, I think. Poor, uh, mm -hmm. Did they attribute this to you? No, no, I didn't, I didn't find it there. I mean, I... I've, I posted it in the, oh, in the group. Yeah, yeah. This is this is buzzsaw. Okay. It looks broken, so it's buzz off. Yeah. <laughs> Buzzed no, but... in half. Buzz. Busted. Buzz tip. <laughs> God damn it, that might have to be the show title. God damn it. I didn't even <laughs> I think Holson's the fucking reigning king of that shit. Holson's the fucking rain man of this shit. He's like yeah. buzz, buzz, yeah. buzz, definitely buzz, definitely buzz. <laughs> Wow. So uh, this is their yeah, first time ever seeing a Transformer, huh? Or <clears throat> knowing what the fucking human body looks like. Uh, <laughs> didn't even really try, did you? It's Doesn't this look so... like one of the scenes from the Netflix series where the bodies are all impaled on spikes and he's like, I'm already dead. I'm just background art. Uh, yeah. He's got this weird, like, Leo Kaiser member head going on. That's not what the original Buzzsaw looked like, is it? I don't know. Uh, kind of, yeah. It's close. Huh. I don't know. I, I have that figure, so yeah. It, it's close. Buzz Saw. I thought Buzz Saw was just uh, a... Basic, basically, it's exactly the same figure as the original Waspinator, but instead of using the mutant head, it used the more humanoid-looking one that, was, that came on the figure. Let's see. Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought um, he was pretty cool. I like the original Buzzsaw uh, person. More of a Batman's feel. Yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You could do uh, a uh, white repaint and then fuse the uh, eyes into one visor and paint that gold, and you can call him Buzz Alder. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I never noticed how doofy the insect paws look. They look like tiny little gecko hands. <laughs> I mean, you gotta Almost. be able to cup that weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's... That like also. Yeah. <laughs> you do do the quick little cat paws. Oh. No, no. It, it... Well, it's missing all the little beans. You can think yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> The, 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 the most terrifying in the world is having a wasp land in your lap and start to make bread. It's... Oh dear! If they start <laughs> meeting you like that, it's like eh, eh, eh. Did you know that? Did you know that uh, tarantulas actually have little toe beans like that? They've got two of them. Fuck you and your spider bullshit. It's god damn! <laughs> I fucking hate spiders. <laughs> they have paws. I, I, a buddy of mine had like one of those Goliath. Hawk killers or bird killers. bird eaters. Yeah, the thing was the size of a dinner. It was weird to hold us hold a spider that was the size of like two Big Macs, and there was like <laughs> some real heft to it, right? So I'm holding this damn thing, and the next day, like my hand starts to itch, and I go, "What the fuck?" I call my friend. He goes, "Yeah, their hair is like insulation. This is gonna be bad. My hand fucking itched for three goddamn days." Urticating hairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was rough, but yeah, spiders. Now, okay, like Harvest Men or what people usually call Granddaddy Long Legs, they don't bother me. But yeah, they're not even spiders. Yeah, the fucking some of the fucking spiders that have like seventeen eyes and and like fangs <laughs> and bullshit, and they pop out of trap doors and and swing and on Jeff the wind. Cold yeah, Blue's God, voice. Damn. And they they write that some pig in their spider silk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> Fuck yes. those guys. I'm. I'm kind of happy about this. The, more of the Waspinator mold, please. I, I hope we get I'm, some virulent clones out of it or whatever the fuck they were called. Oh, yeah. I'm, virulent... I'm actually... Sorry. No, you're, you're right. Go ahead. I was curious. Did the original Buzzsaw get the, <laughs> the, the insect legs more accurate? I don't 
think for a 90s toy they cared to do that much detail I, work. I, it looks like, but yeah. There it is. I would say they did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's more accurate. Yeah. Kitty cat. Actual <laughs> insect. Well, I Kitty think the cat. recent update is more of a, a, a take on the Netflix design, isn't it? Was a waspinator wasn't in the Netflix series? No, but there are concept art, and you know how it works. The mm. characters come first because Hasbro has to design design the toys, and I bet waspinator just hit the cutting room floor, which is a shame because that series could have really used some waspinator. I uh, series could have used a whole lot of waspinator. That was uh, the thing is, okay. it, it had its moments. Uh, Black Arachne being would... a three D printer was a favorite of mine. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, though, would you even would you trust them to even do Waspinator right? I, <sighs> I want him to come out like he's the fucking James Bond of the Predacons. Like, Waspinator can do no wrong. He never dies. Just he's suave. He's banging Black <laughs> Arachnia and Air Razor. He's got, he's got some dude voicing him that's doing a bad Sean Connery impression. It's like, I dare say, my Listen dear Decepticon. Listen like, to me, Megatron. You're out of your goddamn mind. I quit! <laughs> I went like, to Juilliard! Somehow they got someone doing, like, a Christopher Walken impression to do oh, it. Oh, no, that'd be... Hi, Megatron. <laughs> Listen, I know you got this great plan, but I don't think you should trust this Megatron guy. You're in way over your head. <laughs> I, I went to Juilliard. I went, you know, to Juilliard. They taught me to put commas in, in my speech pattern where commas shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go buy my toy on eBay now. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you, you tell those dirty monkeys of the Maximals to kiss my thorax. He got insects. We don't get fleas. I mean, dinosaurs don't get fleas. Were fleas even around whenever dinosaurs were? <laughs> Probably. Well, we don't get them because we, we're bad. We're a bunch of bad dinosaurs once walked here. Yeah, dinosaurs. <laughs> Fuck you, Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher walking with dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. This isn't the only first rumor we got. We also got our first look at Generation Select's Diaclone. The guy who throws the N-word all over stuff released this. And, what? Oh, him. Yeah, and then another dude cleaned it up. Uh, in an amazing step of evolution, the N-word was actually put in the shape of the very famous uh, you'll never be a real woman speech. And it's just... Jesus fucking Christ, dude! Get a life. We all know you know you know what lady boy penis tastes like. So I don't <laughs> think you have any room to talk. I've seen pictures of you, buddy. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Goddamn embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> Diaclone. Diaclone. Hey, I can't hey. stop going. The walking. No, no. <laughs> this is. I mean, this is a thing. <laughs> I it's, guess I guess DC has made it to Earth, and now he needs a new new. Yeah, royal it's guard. rough. I mean, it's one of those weird goddamn things where it's just like they took the photo on the parking lot floor of the the factory before security came and roughed them up. So he's like, I gotta destroy the evidence, and then he reshoved it up his ass. I, I gotta find if like if I can see find the original photo because the original photo there was so fucking little there that you could barely see there was a toy under it. It was just this giant fucking wall of text. And my point is, if you don't want the photo being released, fucking don't release the photo. Right? Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. it, it makes perfect sense. Don't fucking release the photo. So I will see if I can find this here. Please discuss. What character from Diaclone is this? Uh, Black Ironhide. What was Diaclone Ironhide just called Black Ironhide? It, I he didn't really have a name. He was just it was like Mech this that the other thing. <laughs> Return of the Mech. Just Return of the Mech. A Diac. The just Mech. a Diaclone. Mech Daddy Daddy Mech coming out your ass badass. 
That sounds like something the Japanese would write. Yeah. <laughs> this is okay, I guess. I just fucking Diaclone was so weird. I just remember alternate colored Ultra Magnus Optimus, and that's about it. That's the only thing I can recall about Diaclone. There were some different colors. I mean, we got some decent decent characters out of it. So, mm -hmm. you know, it was decent toys. Decent toys, I should say. Uh, some interesting colorations. You've got, like, Cordon, Spin Out, and Tiger Tracks. Those are all your, your Diaclone stuffs. Yep. And it's hard to keep them separate because those characters have official names. This dude is just Black Ironhide. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, let's, let's make a name for him right now. Uh, hmm. Umbra hide. 18. <laughs> yes. Van. Go. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> uh, double. Uh, no. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, BBC. Um... Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Big Brit black. I card. love. I love British television. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love British television. Control F, Transformers. I just remember somebody saying like their favorite character on A Team was Van, all caps. Van. Van. <laughs> I love no. the theme song. Let's see here. I, I cannot find. Thankfully. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, thankfully, I don't need to. You get it. Just imagine this with giant white text over it with the N word several hundred times. Well, that, that's just what I see regularly. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Whenever I close my eyes, it screams hellfire, rats eating people, shrike birds tearing oh. apart some poor animal. Just the what I needed unspeakable hell horrors. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's really not a lot to say about this. It's Ironhide and it's black. It's okay. It's another excuse to get the mold out there. Yeah. I get that. And if they're saying this is the gateway drug to more Diaclone, I like that. It's just, yep. are they going to do Diaclone drivers? I don't think they will. Damn it. I don't think that, that... it'd be kind of neat. It would honestly be kind of neat to see, uh, to see like Diaclone, Diaclone shaped target masters. Yeah, mm. I mean, they, they are so close when it comes to, like, Titan Masters and uh, Titan Returns, like, all the headmasters that could drive. Like, it's very close to... Yeah, I mean, at, I know it's kind of like fucking a waste of plastic, but even running Sam or some, like, tiny micro fig from the Dark of the Moon line that used those weaponizers with the pre-existing helmets, something that kind of looks officially military-ish or spaceman-ish, mm -hmm. I'd be okay with those. It's just that if you don't do the the bit of Diaclone that includes the drivers, which made it unique, then you're just doing, like, rehash of BotCon ideas. <laughs> and you're not doing anything that makes selects pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. That is true. That is true. It, it's it, it's a black iron hide. I for one welcome black iron hide into my collection. Will uh, your wife? Yeah. Well, you know, black sexy hide. That's her name. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody who is not longer welcomed in somebody's collection. John Barber is no longer publisher. Uh, the editor in chief of IDW Publishing. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's a rumor, but, you know, that's, uh, like, IDW is apparently losing the Transformers license pretty soon. Um, that's the rumor. And IDW recently posted a job for the position of executive editorial director. That's John Barber's job. Yeah. You don't need two of those. No. <laughs> did they tell John Barber before they did that, or did he find out through TFW? It'd be hilarious if he found out through TFW. I don't wish that on anybody. <laughs> But come on now, that would be great. What? what the, that's that's akin to like, why is it, why is it my face on the side of the milk carton? You know, it's <laughs> it's a hell of a shock. That actually, not to get political, that actually happened. No, during the Trump administration, where Trump swore up and down that one of his advisors would not be fired. The advisor flies back to D.C. or his hometown, 
and he gets halfway down that escalator staircase that they put up, and he gets a tweet that says, you're fired. Or no, it wasn't even a tweet saying you're fired directly from Trump. It was Trump announcing his forced retirement of his advisor. And he's like, what the fuck? This dude just 10 minutes ago told me I wasn't fired. Damn. He was like, oh, revolving door. Yeah. John yeah. Barber, I know. No, I just, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, but I, IDW have been not doing so well. I mean, they've been losing money for, I mean, they haven't turned a profit for uh, quite a few years now. Their, their stuff, I tried reading the new Transformers comic book. Maybe it's gotten better. I don't know. But the last time I looked at it, the last time I looked at the art, the art was really, really rough. Uh, Beast Wars Megatron looked like that fucking freebie toy out of that pack. Like his fucking proportions were just ridiculous. What and... is, what's, what's the current storyline? I don't even know. Uh, it's, they, they rebooted everything, and it was just like this weird... It felt very Star Wars prequel-ish. Uh-huh. I mean, and just... Okay, just just as an example. Hold on here. Okay. I want you to take a look at the artwork. This is the cover. There's oh. the cover of, like, one of the new IDW comics. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Right? Wow, that's super animated style. It it looks... It fucking looks like you, uh, like you drew the whole thing with a ruler. It looks to me like they really, really wanted to make a show with Gennady Tartakovsky, but uh, you, they can't afford him. I see that. I can <laughs> see that. I would be down for a Gennady Tartakovsky Transformers show, but only if he's involved. Yeah. And he, but he's doing <laughs> Primal now, which, if you haven't seen Primal, is absolutely great. Yeah, uh, I haven't. I would like to. No, Primal is fantastic. But in all seriousness, here, here we go. Just as one more time, an, another example here. Here is, oh, shit, that's kind of tiny. Let me, uh, let's see, control plus plus plus. Nope, sorry, wrong page. Control plus 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 plus. That's Beast Wars Megatron. You know, okay. there's just some weird proportions, dude. That is... Like the the fucking design of those graffiti style statues that you got in the loot boxes, right? Who is the hold? Is that supposed to be primal? I yeah, really. Oh, God. And he's got the proportions of like I like the original IDW, like uh, I don't know, Chrome Dome or something. I, I think that's supposed to be primal and Rhinox there. Yeah, oh, no. this so is. Yeah, I mean they. I think they didn't. They IDW used to have Star Wars, uh, Star Wars as well. Mm -hmm. Then I Disney pulled out. So. I think so. Yeah, and now they're losing GI Joe, Transformers, My Little Pony. I mean, and they don't have really their own IPs, do they? No, it's ideas. It, I the ideas come from other people because yeah. they. I don't think they've ever published anything original, or at least not anymore. They did a uh, 30 Days of Night, which was a big Steve Niles hit from years and years ago. But honestly, I think they just mostly focus on property, other properties. It's, uh, yeah. it, it, it's a thing where, I mean, but here's the thing. There's still that, that weird little underpinning of good ideas. Like, here's a new character of theirs, Nyx. You know, so there's this, there are these really good ideas that you can see kind of taking shape underneath everything. There's a, there's a turtle named, I think his name is Scold. Let me see here. Yes. Honestly, that, this picture you got up now mm -hmm. looks like something out of, uh, it's fan the, art. It's from uh, Gravity Falls. Right? Yeah. You can yeah. see this in, or Rick and Morty, you can see it. Yeah. But, and here's, here's Scold. They're using Slapper's design. Yeah. You know, or so, not Slapper. Um, what's his name? What's the oh, original? Yeah. Snapping. Snapper. No, it's Snapper. Yeah. It is Snapper. Yeah. So, I mean, there's there's stuff there. There's good ideas there, but it's not. Yeah, but... We've gone from 
We've gone from the Decepticon Justice Division to this. Mm. Yeah, I mean, comics are a visual media mm-hmm. first. So you have to make the visuals appealing. And if you can't do that, you have to have a really damn good story. Yeah. And if you don't have that either, you, you're just going to bleed readers. Well, I don't think the art is too terribly bad as we're painting it to be because all the comics I've read over the years, the art styles I've seen from some artists is wild so varyingly. And what they're trying to do is just hook you with a new style and going, this is so different. It's now the new norm. Like I, I remember there's comics I read from Scotty Young who was not only like this weird, almost graffiti style artist that did children's books with blood and swearing, but he caught on and that sort of thing became his signature style. And these designs, I, they look very unique and everything. And it's not any fault of the artist, but I think it's just the fact that it's like, you can't really hook anybody with just too alien of a design of characters that are way too popular megatron as a purple dinosaur works but those images of primal with like he has two antennas sticking out of his back and i was like i don't i don't understand what part of a gorilla would use this right honest to god the first time i saw primal there's primal right there the first time i saw primal just i glanced at quick oh crocs in the new series maybe i should watch it (laughs) Yeah, and if that is Rhinox, I mean, that doesn't feel like... I mean, I'm not saying the designs have to always look similar, but I imagine Rhinox as a pretty stout fellow. There, there's, there's something to be said. You know, hey, the new characters, that's whatever. But the storyline, what little I've read of the new IDW, because I, I tried reading, like, you know, that Rumble stuff, and I tried reading the first few issues of Beast Wars, you know, and it's just, to me... To me personally, it's unreadable, and it's a huge step back from the lost light and more than meets the eye days. Yeah. And also, just another quick note on the arts, artwork. Like, if you have... There's also the issue of you might have talented artists, but if you have a uh, short time span and a low page rate, I mean, what the artist gets paid per page, Yeah, they're not going to put in their... their best work you know. let me see how many pages are in in the 22 it's standard for comic books to be 22 pages 22 pages um yeah because i was just thinking i like i haven't read these in a long time and maybe maybe that's on me because you know it's maybe maybe i should be reading maybe i should be reading these um but it's just you know with so much fiction out there there's there's so much you know i only have so so much time and it's really cool. it's really not on my uh let's see here transformers beast wars here we go well it also might be a language barrier because you imagine not all these guys are from the same place there are artists who have done work for big comic companies that come from other countries and it's just like hey how's your english we want you to draw this and they're like I draw this. And it's like, do you understand the scripts we sent you? And then the response is, I draw this. And you're like, good enough. There, there's actually 32 pages in this. There are 32 pages here. It does look like that dude's Rhinox. Cheetor has some sort of acne under his eyes. That's um, weird. Waspinator is smoking. Um, <laughs> it's That's a little like bit of a Smoking a cigar or is he on fire? Like, there's smoke coming out of his mouth, and he looks sad about it. Did um, he swallow a cigarette? Let's see here. Because I was going to say, I would be surprised if they actually smoked a cigar, because that, that's a big no-no. Yeah, a cigar. Yeah, there is, there's Primal, Cheetor, Dinobot, Rhinox, Rat Trap, Nyx, Skull, <laughs> Razor Beast, Megatron, Pterosaur. There's Waspinair, Little Puff of Smoke, Tarantulas. Yeah... Not digging the artwork. You know what? Okay, this week I'll make some time over the weekend. I will. I will read like episode or, or issue one, two, three, 
so on and so forth. And I'll see what I think about this. Because I'm willing to admit, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But, man, just the new stuff. Like, after after the, the main run ended and they started up with this new rebooted thing, it was, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Eh. It's it's hard to capture lightning twice though because after the wild success of more than meets the eye was, and the lost light crew was yeah. so phenomenally great, and then you're like, can we repeat? And you're like, uh, you know how long it takes to draw one of these books to the to the level it was at first? And you're like, yeah, yeah. Can you can you imagine them realizing what kind of mistake they made and then trying to double back and just continue the old the the old IDW universe? I don't know. Do you have a quarter? <laughs> Do I have a quarter? <laughs> that's what that's what that face says to me. I haven't eaten in fourteen days. Can I have a quarter? Meth. <laughs> <laughs> my wife just found my hat that it's been missing. Yay! I love you, honey. Do you want to come say hi to all the people listening? Oh, she no no. I think I. She's, oh no, she's leaving. She's giving you a dirty look. She's closing the door. Yep. Oh well. Looks like I'm sounds like, like your marriage tonight. is over. Uh, I don't think so. I love that woman. My God, I love that woman. You know, <sighs> uh, like, I would give up. A, another side note. Oh, go ahead. If you had uh, like the game engine of uh, War for Cybertron or Fall for Cybertron, you could make a comic book pretty quickly just by using those environment and having having the uh, robots walk into position take a screenshot right oh those, the, your, those uh, style of comics that are captured panels those are Olson I hate to tell you that your idea is about 20 years out of date and it failed well I mean there was well, red more... versus blue that that succeeded pretty nicely yeah. Red versus Blue is a series, though. Like comic books that use screen captured panels. I've seen some of the Ghostbusters did that shit back in the day. Ooh, I didn't and know it that. Was, it yeah. was trash. Yeah, but we have better uh, graphics now, and we have better software and stuff like that. So, I mean, it, there are a lot of invention that fail when they first come out, and then they become super successful, like the selfie stick was invented a long time ago and it failed because nobody cared back then. Uh, the the person who invented the fidget spinner couldn't get it to go viral until way later when she no longer had the patent. So she didn't actually earn much money on her invention. I just so think horrible. They, I just think of like using the Unreal engine or the Fall of Cybertron engine for like still shots as like it's not quite what it needs to be because it, that thing is so high powered. It's more suited to motion because trying to capture a still image on such powerful software, it just kind of like you lose something in a 2D flat translation to that. Mm. I don't know. I mean, if we look at at screenshots from the game, it doesn't look so like, bad. Okay, if you look at Barber here himself and you're like you know what? This man's story is pretty fucking sad. Let's put some word balloons on it. Aww. Yeah. It all makes sense. <laughs> you go, something's, something's not quite kosher here. And now, he's a real person, granted, but it's just like, it's overpowering, like, images that are rendered that high quality, and you just put text to them. It just, just to me, as someone who likes the effort put into making the art, it would not seem appealing enough just because word balloons over that shit is just like, uh, it's, it's a blemish. You know, it just doesn't I'll, look right. I'll throw this out here. I'll throw this out here. Cause uh, we're, we're to a point now where the numbers on the YouTube channel uh, are about the same as the numbers we're getting on the podcast page. So we're getting like equal downloads on that. So we're still not doing a lot of listens. That's okay. I, I'm not in this for a lot of listens. I'm just kind of in this to hang out and make friends. But I'll throw this out there. If somebody's listening who knows him, or if John Barber is listening to himself, come on the show. I'd love to hear your side of things. I promise that we're not going to... I promise to behave. Okay? I don't. I, I don't. Prom <laughs> I can't speak for these other barbaric sons of bitches. 
but I promise to behave and be respectful towards you. Not um, me. I would love to hear your side of the story. What's going on? Uh, yeah, heck, anything. Uh, moving on, though. Moving on, though. Look at this. We got a tiny little hot rod. A hit red. A hit red. <laughs> and he does have the sword. He does have the sword. So, so that uh, 4chan leak was accurate. The 4chan leak was accurate. Which, honest to God, most often they are. Like, we've, we've recently had, like, a 4chan leak. Uh, the, not images, but there was a leak on 4chan that went, Yeah, you know that Menasaur? Uh, that's not going to be a G1 Menasaur. Drag strip's the only lo- the one that looks G1. Uh, breakdown is going to be the Transformers Prime Breakdown. Um, uh, the, uh, the Motor Master's going to look like he came out of R.I.D. Uh, 20... 2010 or whatever the 2005 whenever the fuck era rid was on so each they're going to have different styles for each one <clears throat> so don't sell your combiner wars menasaur yet guys <laughs> you can't tell me what to do yeah maybe I, i've seen a lot of people selling them in anticipation you might this might be a regretted purchase but but let's talk about hot rod here he's a tiny hot rod he yeah. gets a sword, I guess, because they didn't give him any guns. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's, he's got the little pipes at the side of his arms. They'll, they'll, that's good enough. I know, but he also, yeah. had, he also had a visor and saw blades shoved up his wrists and in his helmet, and I don't see that either. That's better than the place I had saw blades shoved up the other day. Where did you have <laughs> it? $12 is $12, man. Go on. You paid $12 for that. I know, right? No. Shit. <laughs> Which is something I can't do anymore. <laughs> this, I, this is a decent little hot rod. This is yeah. probably one I'm going to skip. Yeah. I, don't I don't really hmm. collect this size class. Uh, Core. But I think it looks good. Yeah. Uh, For yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. can see myself getting this like I do everything with the Transformers brand on it. I, if I see it, and I have like an extra 10 bucks in my pocket, maybe. It's, like, it's either this or, or two pizzas. And that's, that's a hard sell for me. Because two pizzas are two pizzas. True. Mm-hmm. But, God, they threw in the sword. And I'm just thinking, okay, they're going to repurpose that immeasurably with so many things now. Because, I don't know, maybe guns are just too hard to make. Maybe. And it looks like there's a port on that sword. For a gun. Well, I think the port is for up torp. It, it could so. be up torp or it could be for a gun blade. You don't know. Maybe maybe Rodimus is really just a fan of Final Fantasy VIII. Maybe, maybe it you almost, hook them all together and make a big whirling dervish. Mm-hmm. You were going to say wholesome. It almost, almost looks like the, um, the, the spoiler wing is supposed to come off and form a weapon as well. Doesn't oh, his it? crossbow maybe from Animated? Possibly. Yeah. I mean, there is a little, like, five millimeter port there in the front of it, it looks like. That could shoot a sword? That could shoot a sword. That would be amazing. I hope hope it actually does that. <laughs> like, like that trailer for Peacemaker. Do you see that, Scott? He's I, got I a grenade strapped to a Russian military tank shell. Huh. It is like, what? And someone's asking him, why the fuck did you strap a grenade to a, a Russian military ammunition shell meant for tank fire? And he goes, I don't know. I thought I'd kill more people this way. Well, there you go. <laughs> the man speaketh the truth. <laughs> oh, man. We got our first look at Red Ultra Magnus. Eh, it's White Optimus. But fucking Knockout. Fucking Knockout looks kind of good. Yeah, you yeah. do. We're going to see this. Eh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I only we could get a transforming knockout that looked like that. Right. I'm st- oh, I was going to say, I'm still not going to get this. But... Oh, these, these are the ones that don't transform. Oh, yeah. That, no, oh, yeah, yeah it says red. Oh, but, I mean, Timmy Turner's dad is knockout looks pretty fantastic. Yeah. Also, the the uh, the weatherman from iZombie. Also, why are there two tires at the top of his packaging? I mean, you, you're not supposed to be looking there on a man, dude. Because it's uh, exhausting. He's too tired. Ah, ah, god damn it. 
Olson, you're fired for a fifth time. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't fire me. <laughs> That's... Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is cool. I was, I was surprised to see Knockout in red. Um, well, he's popular. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think him that popular. Because, you know, you do Knockout, you can't really do, like, a repaint on that. You're stuck yeah, with Knockout. I he, I mean, he was a good character. He's like the only character besides Trax who was kind of a dandy. And he's just like, yeah, scratched my paint. Ooh, well. You could do Croc out with a little bit of Ritu. <laughs> you could do Croc out. That chest is angry enough to invoke a crocodile. Mm. Croc out's angry. awesome. If you don't have Croc out, go get yourself a fucking Croc out. A fucking... Yeah, it's great. A fucking crocodile on a chain is a weapon. I was just like, yeah, I'm taking all your stock. Yeah. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take your entire supply. <laughs> and Phone the manufacturer and the warehouse. You tell them to just straight to my front porch. And that's why you could never find a Croc out. <laughs> oh, my God. We do have... This, this is kind of like... A, a little bit. Some people would find this happy. Somebody, somebody like me is like, so what? But I do want to talk about it. Apparently, uh, if you missed either Cup or Cliff Jumper, good news. You got a chance to get them again. Slightly redecoed. Cliff Jumper is now blue. Uh, with the, it has like blue windows. It's, it's the buzzworthy Bumblebee Cliff Jumper. Uh, and and okay. Cup. Wait, are they? It says eighty six on Cliff Jumper's packaging. Are they trying to extend them under the Studio Series eighty six line? I guess. I guess it looks that way. So he's supposed to be part of the eighty six movie cast. As I mean, I guess the the solid blue windows would indicate. Yeah, yeah don't look inside the car too much. Paint over the windows. I'm honestly surprised we haven't got tap out from this. No hmm, one yeah, needs to care, which is heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah, I would get a tap out of this guy. What's the difference between this one and the original cup? Uh, clear window. The, the original cup has a clear window. This one has a gray window. All right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can see like, like the two side yeah. by side there. Just like oh, wait, the, yeah. the original movie, they, they had all the windows reflective shiny so they could save on like trying to draw the interiors of the cars. Yes. But, you know, it's nice for anybody who missed these, especially Cliff Jumper. Cliff jumper oh, is like fucking wow. hard to get. So, what a what oh. an evasive little bitch. Yeah. So now now there's a second shot. You know, thankfully I found him, so I don't have to go to Target. Uh, I know. Right. So yeah, up and cliff jumper. Yay. Mm hmm. So, yeah, good on you. Go get him. Go get him. Here's here's something I did want to talk about too. We've got new official G1 Transformers posters. Uh, limited versions. Now, here's what I really wanted to discuss. We're going to open this image in a new tab here. There's hmm. there's the poster. Now, we are going to take... Uh, let's see if we can find the image that I'm looking for here. Uh, here we go. So, what Hasbro has done, an amazing amount of ballsiness, has taken a ton of third-party toys in the poses that the company put them in and slapped them on a poster. <laughs> this oh. poster is a ripoff of other third-party company stuff in the poses that the third-party company used <laughs> in their advertising. The fucking balls on these guys. Wow. I think <laughs> I think if this if this be true, Hasbro's like, oh, you want to borrow our character? Sure. We'll you don't borrow. mind if it goes two ways, do you? What are you gonna do? Sue us? <laughs> go ahead sue us so they took the images or they came up with the poster first and then these images they i don't know i don't know it's just this was pointed out to me by by uh, by uh, another user on 4chan this like these are third party transformers in the poses that they were advertised in and they slapped them on a poster and he was going like, look at this. Look what Hasbro is doing, the fucking unoriginal bastards. I sat back and went, the chrome-plated balls on these guys. They knew what the I, fuck they were doing. Is that even Shia LaBeouf? I bet. I'd actually be pleased if, 
I'd actually be pleased if I was one of these companies. <laughs> pleased and a little scared. Well, I'd be like, wow, they're actually giving us uh, some some props. Yeah. It's kind of, sort of. If, uh, if there was maybe some <laughs> behind-the-scenes deal where Hasbro's like, you come uh, work for us, let us borrow some of that art, or if, you know, maybe if this was in your artist's portfolio, we I can like, see our way to putting on a poster. I like to think they just took all of it. They just took all of it and went, fuck them. They, you know, they fucking stole from us. Now will you fucking steal yeah. from them? <laughs> I know. I normally wouldn't have talked about this poster. I don't really care too much. But god damn, I thought this was ballsy. That's yeah, crazy. it is. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Could you uh, post that image somewhere? So Absol- can, uh... Absolutely. I'll yeah. tell you what. I will do this right now. I will go, uh, I'll close this, and we'll take this doop, and we're going to go over to the Facebook page. And you know what? While we're at it, we'll do the Twitter page as well. Beep. So there's Facebook. And if anybody wants it, we're going to put it up on the Facebook and the Twitter, the Good Morning Cybertron Facebook page and the Twitter. So here we go. Let's see. Add photos. Uh, hope that I don't come across any po- Well, there was a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> It's a landmine in here. Uh, let me just drag that over, huh? There we go. <laughs> Let's post. And we'll go over here. And we'll do images. And, oh, shit, man. I, gotta, I can't. I'll put it up on the Twitter later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's Buzzsaw, everybody. Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do 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 yes. so it's up on the facebook page now if you want it go get it there it is bloop and star wars let's talk about star wars and gi joe sky striker hmm? mm-hmm. let's talk mm-hmm. about this for a second uh oh, sky yeah. striker barely made it at sixteen thousand seven hundred seventy-two in the hot has lab and Let's talk about this because we've had we've had uh, tons and tons of people say that oh the has labs are rigged that they they fudge the numbers to make them work do they hmm. do they fudge the numbers because if they do you would think with something as big as Star Wars with as much time as they obviously put into this ranker prototype you think they would have had to succeed. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I I think I kind of know what they mean because you know remember how with with uh, with Victory Saber they kind of held off on the Japanese backers until like the uh, the very end. Yeah, they they used it like a special attack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right at the very end. Well, I mean, there's, there's <laughs> nothing more super. <laughs> yes, there's, there's nothing wrong with that because <clears throat> if you hold off on that. You know, the Japanese backers, and you're going to hold off on, like, the store orders because they're yeah. going to put their orders in at the last minute. Yeah, I think it's logical yeah. to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why, why, would you, why would you put in the effort of adding things in at one day at a time? Uh, okay, we'll add this many in this day, one day in. Whenever, it's not going to affect the numbers at all. No. You know, mm-hmm. and it's, it's probably not going to affect – maybe it affects – it affects the people who do it a little bit because you've got people joining in for, uh, for fear of missing out. But, but they put a lot of effort into this ranker. What I think, what I think the reason why the ranker really failed is because there's so many ranker toys out there. Uh, are there? You're going to have to tell me about that. I don't know a thing about this. Let's see here. So, I mean, you have the original Kenner ranker. So, ranker or toys so let's see here so here we go we've got here is the force unleashed rancor there's a battle rancor uh there's a statue there's the power of the forest rancor there's the original kenner rancor i think there's the power of the forest rancor again so there's a deluxe 29 inch statue there's the Jabba's Ranker Pit set. Um, there's the Return of the Jedi, you know, the original Kenner Ranker that we talked about before. There's a lot of choices. 
if you want a Rancor. There, yeah. and I'll tell you what, if you're a 3D printer, <laughs> then your choices end up getting more and more. Because if you go Rancor, let's see what happens. There's your Rancor. So there's a 3D printed Rancor. There's <laughs> another 3D printed Rancor. There's a Rancor head. There's a Rancor head in 3D model. There's a cutesy Rancor. Uh, there's, uh, there we go, Rancor 3D model printable. There's Muichi. There's the Return of the Jedi uh, three, uh, Rancor. Um, there's a Rancor pen holder. Uh, I, I, know that, I know that there's another guy that does, like, has a scan of the fucking Kenner Rancor. Yeah, here it is. There's the Kenner Rancor. There's the re, there's a resculpted ranker. You've got a ton of options. Yeah. So, so there you go. I, I think the one thing that was supposed to be up the appeal for this was that it was a black series scale. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this was what what was it? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Now now so let's. It, Let's let's take a look at that. Three hundred and fifty bucks for for one toy, you know, yeah. without like you know getting really any of that's not any of the tiers on top of that too. Mm. You know, we look yeah. at this toy. Now let's go over here and look at this star, this ranker, which is posable. So it's like a five poa ranker. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. So yeah, it is posable. There's where the arms go in. There's there's everything, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Five dollars and fifty two cents. Mm -hmm. I I don't I don't need the black ranker. I think it failed. I think it really failed because there were so many options that were available. Yeah, and there there were a few other things. So I saw a video that brought up some good points. Uh, the first one was just you know basic stuff like the paint apps. It's not that movie accurate it's too dark i think and doesn't seem to have much dry brushing uh the claws are too white they're not they're not bone they're white but also the stretch goals i, I, I thought this was, this was really interesting that the stretch goals were actually things that already has been released yeah. like it was a gamorian guard uh some skeleton bits a salacious crumb and only if it got to like incredibly high uh, background numbers they will include a, a unique luke skywalker version yeah what were let's see here the stretch goals <clears throat> were i know they threw in yeah, you know, yeah yeah i knew they threw in like towards the end of it to try to make it succeed they threw in a ranker keeper figure that wasn't part of the stretch goal you just get it but like your stretch ghouls were, uh, so let's see, a Gamorrean guard, some skulls. What a Tauntaun skull is doing on Tatooine, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that's a little puzzling. Yeah. Well, a bit weird. Yeah. I mean, I mean a, a desert can be really cold at night. Like <laughs> camels can withstand quite cold temperature. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe it was important. The desert tauntaun. A tauntaun will not survive warm temperatures. Yeah. It's like maybe it's like how you say, "Oh, I had Chinese." You're not talking about you flew in someone from China and ate them. You know, you're just like, "I cooked something that's Chinese-ish." You but... don't know me. <laughs> 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 we have salacious bee crumb. Uh, you know, to distinguish him from all the other salacious crumbs out there, mm -hmm. uh, you have the uh, Luke Skywalker. You know. Here's the thing. The Gamorrean Guard I get. Okay. The Skulls I get. Salacious Crumb and Luke Skywalker? Luke I get. Salacious Crumb, where, where's Ula in all this? Where's the dancer the that got yeah. fed to the Rancor? Yeah. Doesn't that... Her name is Ula? Ula. Ula. The Ula. green uh, Twi'lek. Yeah. 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 So where yeah, is... She, I don't think she's gotten a Black Series figure. She does not. She does she's not have sexy. a Black Series. She's <clears throat> intimidating to uh, Kathleen Kennedy. Well, no, she, Disney has come out and said, you know, it's kind of like they said, oh, we're, we're not going to make, a, uh, we're not gonna make a, a Slave Leia figure anymore because it's degrading mm -hmm. to women. 
which I, <laughs> you can't you can't ignore that part of it. That's that's the point. She's a slave. It's degrading <laughs> yeah. the women. Also, he was held hostage by a gangster. Hey. That's, and, that's kind of and, important. Yeah. Has, I, fucking Kathleen <laughs> Kennedy. You fucking tell me Kathleen Kennedy has not attended one convention and just seen throngs of girls dressed as slave Leia themselves going, I'm a, I'm a princess Leia. <laughs> yeah, it's... Ooh, looks kind of cute. I never really noticed before. Anyway. But, no, it's... It's the... I don't like the new touchy-feely society. You know, it's... I, I was talking about this with a friend the other day. He was just... Well, you know, Scott, furries... You know, it's, it's a legitimate lifestyle. It, it's almost a gender. And I said, you know, whenever I was growing up, there was a guy in town that thought he was a unicorn, and they, they put him in a mental ward until he got better. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't yes. trust furries. I really don't. <laughs> know your furries. Pedophiles. <laughs> anyway. Wow. <laughs> Lost, lost about five or six <laughs> listeners there, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. And I mean, we're we're all perverts here, but we have our our limits. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I gotta, edit wanna, some, wanna, I gotta edit this on, and get some um, porn out. <laughs> you wanna put on some uh, Holstein cow bikini? That's that's all good. Have a have a little cowbell. Mm-hmm. Uh, couple of small horns like pretend yeah that's yeah fine. don't dress up like an actual <laughs> can you imagine how hot it gets in those suits Ooh. yeah yeah it's you know sex is usually a sweaty endeavor for me but inside one of those suits they they the kids call it yiffing uh inside one of those suits it's got to be it's got to be hell in a handbasket I bet, like, it's Wait. veritable. You can see the veritable stink waves coming off the genitalia. <laughs> the stink lines. Oh, my God. Yeah. Moving on. Oh, yeah, there was one, oh, one last thing about Haslab. Uh, a lot of people have pointed out that it was also bad timing around the Christmas. Yeah. Uh, because they, the Sentinel, Haslab Sentinel was released during the summer, I believe. And it got copious amount of backers. Because nobody's going on holidays and nobody is spending money. Yeah. But now it's Christmas and everybody is giving everybody presents, trying to scrape together what little money they have. Yeah. And nobody <laughs> wants to give the president of like, here, I got you the ranker. You'll get it in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> you will actually yeah. see another Christmas. Good luck. I hope you survive the next year and a half. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh my God! Moving on but, to uh, oh, yeah. go ahead. Sorry, you go. Go ahead. I keep trying to push it forward. I apologize. Uh, this will be the last couple of things. I, I was actually surprised how well <laughs> the GI Joe striker did at sixteen thousand backwards in comparison. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, so, that's that's a toy. Number one, number one. You really yeah. only need one ranker, right? Yeah. Number two, number two, like the Sky Striker, it's like G.I. Joe had more than one F, F-14 plane. Mm -hmm. Num number two, having the extra labels in there to make it a Cobra plane as well, fucking genius. Now, now people are going to want to get three or four of these things. Can you get three or four? I, thought, I think you have a limit of five. I, th I think there's a limit of five on the Sky yeah. Striker. Let, let me take a look here. Sky yeah, there was something Strike. like that on, on the rank, or at least like limit of three or limit of five. So. Yeah, let's see. There was limit of five um, per customer for for the Sky Striker. And for the Rancor, it was uh, maybe you shouldn't have put a limit on that Rancor. Um, <laughs> yeah, and also uh, uh, G.I. Joe limit of five. haven't had that much to spend money on. <laughs> what? I, I find it odd. I find I find it a little odd now that I think about it. You know, a limit of five on this. I, if you're trying to get something funded, you'd think you'd want as much. Like if some guy comes in and goes, "I want to buy 150 of them." You know, you think you think you'd just freaking let him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's some some kind of precaution, like 
you can't put in a bunch of orders and then bail out scalp them later yeah well, i don't think i don't think it's a scalp them deal i think i think wholesome may be right where it's like well i need to get this funded so i'll put it on a prepaid debit card that only five of them will go through but i'll buy like 200 yeah you know so okay. yeah yeah uh <laughs> I, I, for my uh, look at what I found, going on, moving on to look at what I found, uh, I, I found this, this heartwarming story uh, that, about a man who saw an injustice and he took matters into his own hands. And uh, this is uh, about a, a Star Wars fan whose, uh, his Thai wife smashed his collection and he, uh, he killed her. <laughs> I don't her, I remember this story. Her yeah, name was me. first off. Her name was Porn Pile, uh, Porn Pile Sizroy. <laughs> you can see it right there. I'm I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, Porn Pile Sizroy. And uh, apparently, like the dude got life. His name was Ricky Latouche. Uh, Thirty told a court that his Thai wife, Porn Pile Sizroy, twenty eight, <laughs> had damaged his Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker memorabilia. And he suffocated her during a fight. So she bent his Wookiee and he force choked her. <laughs> he found her lack of faith disturbing. This is what happens whenever you buy your wife from the same place you buy your toys. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Holson, do you have a look at what I found? Uh, yes, I do. Uh might have been shared before, but I'm going to share it again. I found a fun picture of the third party. <laughs> oh, so, <this> way... <laughs> so of course. The so, That's... yeah, this, this one is up on the Facebook group also. That is, are, that's an impressive, uh, that's an impressive display of joint. Oh, yeah. hey, yeah. that's google.com, Dalar de Skarim. Shoot the dog. Is that is that beast mode? That's that that's, is beast mode. Yeah, that's a beast so mode. That, that's that's my look at what I found. It's an angry crab. <laughs> oh my god! Hey there, Thomas. Do you got to look at what I found? I do. I have one. It. I actually had a better one, but I can't find it. Um. But uh, do you remember before I showed the? Uh, Somebody had tried to make the had well they actually did pretty well made those uh, repaints that were based on the Beast Wars McDonald's toys. Yes. Yeah, mm. I found another one, uh, and this one I I like. I actually found another version of this that I thought was almost better, but this one's actually pretty good too. Um, just let me see if there we go. Okay. You see this? Hmm. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. It's not terrible. Um. Let's see if I can uh, show you the uh, the the insect mode. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, he's going for a more realistic. That's actually pretty good, realistic maroon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Color on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it turned out pretty well. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Oh my god, there was a robot inside the whole time. <laughs> I like what they did with the two tone, like with the darker gray on the insect legs and then the silver on the inside of the arm. That's yeah. a nice touch. That's very clever. Very clever. Dang, man. Yep. Dang. Yep. Not bad. I like that. Yeah. That's what I got. Xavier buddy, how about you? Any re uh any uh, looky what I founds this week? Something that is a follow-up to the whole debacle with IDW. So uh, I didn't hear it mentioned during the show, but it looks like Image Comics might be the new place of Transformers and G.I. Joe. I had heard Possibly. that as well as a rumor. I had heard that as well yeah. as a rumor, so I didn't really say anything about it. Yeah, but we report all the schlock from 4chan. I was like, ah, what's well, one more? That's true. That yeah. is true. Oh, my God. Moving on to reinforcements. Xavier, while well, I got you, buddy, any reinforcements this week? I got two of the Golden Disc Collection. Ooh, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? So first one was Jackpot, and then the next day it was the Road Ranger and Puffer 
set. That jackpot head, is it as bad as everyone says it is? It's it's pretty Lego. Oh, fuck. But well, you know, Thomas, it's... Thomas, if you want to make some money on your on your thing, you should make a replacement jackpot head. Oh, is that one quite poor? The two sides are different sizes. <laughs> what? It's it's a unique head. I mean, if you just look at it photoshopped, it, I mean, online, the the one they have, it doesn't get any better. It's just that's that's what you get. So it's not as bad as Otto's like. You know what? At least it's at least it's a character that hasn't been seen in quite a while. I think the Collectors Club did jackpot, didn't they? Uh, I think so. I but I think it was animated jackpot. Yeah, so I was like, eh, you know what? You can't really fault it for being a character no one even talks about. So, whatevs. At least they did Puffer and Road Ranger. And it's like, Puffer one's funny because that reminds me of a YouTuber who uh, who swears a lot. And I was like, yeah. That's me. Yeah. Maybe Puffer. This Maybe this Transformers Puffer swears a lot too. Mm. That'd be fucking great. Do we have a Transformer that swears their fucking head off in, in not encoded language? Fuck yeah. Like, <laughs> like Warpath does. Yeah. <laughs> Bang, pow. Fuck me. Here <laughs> is, uh, j just, just so you know here, uh, there is the Golden Disk Jackpot. Let's really zoom in on that noggin, shall we? Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa, okay. I can already tell what you're talking about. Yeah. Th what? Yeah. The halves are not quite right. The same size. They're two the two halves are different sizes. That's not good. And that's not good at all. <laughs> that so, looks like something you'd see in the dollar store. Like he was dropped on his head when he was a protoform. <laughs> it's jerk perk. <laughs> <laughs> jerk perk. Jerk perk. Oh, fuck. How about you, Holson? Do you have any uh, reinforcements this week? Uh, yes, I got one, and a very nice one at that. Uh, I got the Tetra Jet Starscream. Ooh, good. Cash, Studi man. You're going to love that. Yeah. Studio oh, yeah, series, even. That. Yep. Very nice. 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 I traded it for another Transformer, so yeah, I'm very happy with this. Very, very nice. How about you, Thomas? Nope, I don't have anything. Okay. Every, everybody back up. I'm going uh -oh. to be swinging for the fences here. Uh, what to show off first. Okay, so uh, this, uh, I wasn't going to show this off, but it's within arm's reach. This is the 3D printed Jackbot figure. It's an advent, it's an advent calendar figure that Hightail is making. So, That's perfect. Yeah, I like you, it. Get, you get a new piece every day. And by the 24th of December, if you print out all the new pieces on December 24th, you have an entire jackpot figure with the exosuit. <laughs> the exosuit. Yeah, the I exosuit. I want more. I yeah. want more of those G2 style exosuits like the fucking whirling derby of death for what? who was the figure? Slicer. Yeah. This, oh, will, this will be great. free. This will be free up until the 28th. And... I've heard, I've seen him say little things where he kind of hints that he's going to re-release this, but he's going to re-release this as Axer with maybe a different, I don't know. I don't know. But he, like somebody, I think somebody said, oh, I can't wait to print this off as Axer too. And the guy, you might want to wait on that. It was kind of what was kind of hinted at. <clears throat> I just finally got this done as well. The Master Sword Terminal from Fun B Studios. And this little boop, it does come out. Like, there's the Master Sword. And you can place it in there, you know, just like it is in the Headmaster's cartoon. That's awesome. <clears throat> so really, really remember cool. that. Really, yeah, that really was happy the, with this. The, he needed to pull that out to transform. Mm -hmm. Really sort happy with this. Uh, this front part's really heavy because I use the old style. But back here, this back part super light because oh, I'm looking at that like my collar blindness. The uh, the screen is a little bit different, so okay, I'm gonna have to tidy that up. Like my eyes can't see it, but on the screen there's a bit of a collar difference, and I can see that. Okay, I need some more orange there. This back half was printed. There's a new uh, there's a new uh, 
thing that you can do on Cura called lightning infill, where it essentially creates like a scaffolding inside so it, it really cuts down the time and it really uses a lot less filament. So it's like, it, it's just enough in there to support the walls. Like you don't wanna use this for something you're gonna use all the time, but for a static piece that's gonna be there for decoration, it's perfect. So check out the lightning infill. Um, I'm using that too. Uh, I'm printing out the Ambus armor from Funby Studios. Uh, as far as mainline stuff goes, uh, I got Tigatron. Look at his crotch. Mm. Look at how angry and sad his crotch is. His crotch is disappointed with you. Oh, <laughs> oh there it is. Yeah. That I, is a disappointed crotch. Yeah, absolutely. I ended up getting pipes. Ah, nice. So there's pipes. And Crap. was able to score a slammer as well. Wow, Ooh, yeah. already. Yep. Big bad toy store. Uh, got since I, I, I'm so fucking tired of the hunt. And fuck it, $4 shipping. Uh, yeah, if that means I don't have to walk into a Walmart, <clears throat> shit, I'll save, I'll save $4 in gas alone. Just looking at this. <laughs> and I don't have to go into a Walmart and deal with those fucking heathens. Uh, <laughs> I've, I ended up getting Draculus. What? He dropped. Ooh. Draculus dropped. Nice. And he's fun. Draculus is super fun. He got himself a cape. Draculus is oh, super yeah. fun. Hello, uh, eBay. Is, yeah. I'd like yeah. one Draculus, please. And uh, I, if you want to, we can order you one on uh, Hasbro Toy uh, or Hasbro Pulse if it's still there. <clears throat> like Xavier, I got Road Ranger and Puffer. Yee. Yeah. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. The the thing that I noticed, I, it's it's really obvious that he has the original toy face for Huffer. But what I didn't realize, and I hope I hope that this can go on the go well on the screen, the head on Huffer uh, are pipes and. Uh, Pipes and Puffer are different. If you look at Pipes, you can see an eye and a nose behind the mask. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But they're actually different. Yeah. Yeah. Puffer just has the, the visor. So they are mm. two different heads. Nice. Yeah. They are two different heads. Nice touch, I thought. And finally. The white. Oh, go ahead. The one with the white head kind of reminds me of Broadside's hell, uh, a face. Bit. A little bit. And finally. This is probably going to be my only red figure unless they come up with something kind of neat like this again. I feel like this is what red should be for. Um, I got the rescanning Megatron. Oh, oh, neat. So this, I'm going to get like one of those, or I'm probably, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to print out like one of those flight stands and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to like put him kind of hovering in front of, of uh, Unicron. And I think I'm going to have like, like a regular Megatron, the scanning Megatron, because you know I've I think I have enough of Siege or Earthrise Megatrons. I can find one to set beside this. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have like a regular Megatron, the rescanning, and then whenever I get the reformatting Galvatron, I'll put that beside of him, and then like the toy Galvatron as well, just have them side by side. But I think this is the stuff. This is the stuff Red should be doing. Like, this, uh, this is really cool. And this wouldn't have been good as a regular Transformer. You know, because yeah. Yeah, th then you're going to have that weird pattern over different parts of the vehicle. So, that yeah. looks more opaque than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a much more clear figure. Not really. You can kind of see, like, right there. You can kind of see, like, some of the inner workings and stuff and right here. But I think the plastic is just way too dense to let the light through. Mm. you know mm. it's 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 decent it's good for what it is it's a display piece it's nothing i'm going to sit down and fiddle with honestly like goofing around with the joints it kind of feels a little it, it feels like i'm you i'm playing with wax and because of that it feels like i'm going to break it but mm. it, it's good for what it is something just to sit there it represents one, one to two seconds of the movie. The <laughs> only thing, I would have loved it if it would have come with an alternate head. 
that had like all the all the gears Ooh, and stuff yeah. in the, the, yeah. the thing in the front there so that you could see the inner workings can, but, you, can you imagine being such a huge transformers fan you get half your body tattooed in a grid pattern like this <laughs> no <laughs> no i no maybe, i maybe, can't maybe not fixate or maybe not <laughs> i i i i love exactly three things in my life i love my wife ariana I love my fur balls and I love my transformers. I'm not getting a tattoo of any of those things. There is one tattoo I saw years ago that made me crack up so fucking hard because it was just that unbelievable. But you got to imagine some dude in his 20s, real fit, real good looking. And you what do you do when you you know you're young and impetuous? You get tattoos. So this motherfucker, a full body tattoo of himself but half an inch taller. This motherfucker gets tattoos on his legs, right? Okay. Halfway up his calves of Argyle socks. Hmm? What? Uh, motherfucker should be Permanently sad. tattooed Argyle socks on his legs. So he can look like he's wearing socks while having none of the benefits of wearing socks. Yep. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> and if you do wear socks, people are going to look at you. Why is that motherfucker wearing two pairs of socks? <laughs> it just was like, you know what? You got to you gotta rock it as hard as you can, dude. You're, you're living with it for the I rest felt, of your life. <laughs> I felt embarrassed because right before I got on, I took a shower. So that's why, like, my hair, I didn't have time to comb my hair after the shower. So it was, it, like, it, try, it curls up and it gets all tangly and wild. I felt embarrassed coming on with this hair, right? That motherfucker has Argyle socks permanently tattooed on his feet. Why am I embarrassed of anything? It's like, it's like not... a weird uh, cock block for foot fetishes. Right? Right? It's almost, it's almost a sign of like, hey, don't fuck me. This is your final warning. Like, you, you're in the bedroom. You're in the bedroom. It's like, okay, I think I kind of want to fuck this guy. He's like stripping off. And he's like, honey, take off your socks. Those are, those are my tats. That's your, fi it's your final. Get the fuck out now. There is no turning back once the no. penis is inside you. So it's time to turn back now. Once know, you have some... tattooed socks, you should only be able to pay for sex. I don't know. Some people <laughs> dig that shit and go, oh, my God, he's so different and unique. And that's why people are getting dumber. <laughs> that yes. is also that is also uh i mean fucking come on argyle socks you you would never think of that if you had to get a tattoo if you were ever in the mood to tattoo screw and glue what would you do it, argyle it, socks i would probably like if i had to get a tattoo of something uh i don't want to get a tattoo of my wife like maybe I would get a tattoo that just said her name and my name and like our wedding, our wedding day date, something like that. Like my younger brother tattooed dollar signs on his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, the motherfucker had dollar signs tattooed on his nips. His nipsy hustles got tatted with dollars. Yeah. I know. I'll get tattoos on areas of my body that are extremely sensitive. Yeah. Tattoos on your <laughs> nips. I kind of wish he was a woman so that whenever they, he gets old and they would sag, he could have rock bottom prices. Uh, <laughs> that can still happen to I, a man. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Something that's always fun to do is to go on YouTube and look at... Asian people reacting to terribly uh, terrible tattoos of <laughs> Chinese signs and Japanese. Oh yeah, no, there's there's the equivalent of people talking about uh, going to like Asian countries and they see people walking around with bad English slogans on their clothes. Oh yeah, and one of them was a little kid that wore a shirt that said "bad motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, Google has some great ones, Scott. I will look it up. 
Can you do it right now so you can see the first one I'm seeing of the man with the checkerboard face tattoo? So Google, I'm going to Google. What am I looking up? Bad tattoos? Bad tattoos under the images, cat. Bad tattoos. Did you ever see that one where, um, that one tattoo where the guy had like Super Mario tattooed on his wrist so it made it look like his fist was Mario's fist but it was the wrong hand? So a checkerboard face and an oh. onion on your armpit. Yeah, you found it. It's like it should be his left fist, but it's actually his right fist. So his it, thumb is in the wrong place. It is my life. John Bovey. <laughs> bon Joe. John Bovey. John Bovey. John Bovey. It is my life by John Bovey. How about this one of Freddie Mercury? <laughs> Share the screen, please. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Share screen. Select window of screen. Screen one. Allow. There we go. <laughs> here, here it is. It is my it's my life. It's a troll face tattoo. <laughs> it is. See, this is wow. why. This is why I don't want to get like a, get like a a tattoo. Because oh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even play chess right? on a surface like that. They they will fall off. <laughs> unless you they've got like make... adhesive bottoms. I mean, unless you're gonna make his face into necro pants later. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> well, I know there's one. <laughs> No regrets. Well, I can safely say that the person had no regrets. Here's... Do the one above it, Scott. Do the one above it. Okay, hold on here. No, re of no regrets. No regrets. Hold on here. No regrets. And then the and one above it. This one here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I hear they have another one of these guarding the gates of hell. <laughs> And the tattoo artist just quickly discovered, you know, line art. Faces. Yeah, you can't. Well, line art is really unforgiving when you're trying to do faces. It is. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess you got it fixed a little bit I better. Know. That's way better. Yeah. But the internet already caught wind of it. Uh -huh. Kit Kat. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Uh, I, can't, I can't look at any more of this. <laughs> Let's look at other ranker toys, huh? There you go. <laughs> look at all the fucking ranker toys. John Bovey. I, okay, here. Okay, I'm curious here. We're going to go to eBay. And we're going to type in ranker. I wonder what they're going for now. Let's see here. Ranker. So like seventy, there's one for seventy three ninety nine. There's one for like forty bucks, ninety bucks. Buy it now. Uh, Jabber Jabba's Ranker Pit for the Black Series, one hundred and seven dollars fifty cents. Yeah, I. This is why the Black Series. This is why why that one failed, isn't it? There's <clears> another <throat> one, another misspelling. No pen, no gain. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I actually, speaking of things that are misspelled, I saw some uh, graffiti here in, in my little town here. They misspelled fuck. <laughs> we, really? They spelled fuck with an A. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, maybe you're I just gonna, don't want to read it. Like, no, this is not a complicated eh? word. You're not writing supraglacial ablation complex. You're writing fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you should know it's a U and not an A. Oh. <laughs> now it just says, it literally says compartment. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what fuck means in Swedish. You, you, guys, compartment you, on guys are, you guys are great with the swear words accidental, man. That's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, work, work was, workers' union is called fuck it. <laughs> That's kind of what they're called in the United States too. <laughs> Unofficially. 
Oh, oh my god. Don't I... let the past make you our decisions for today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's it. I'm going home. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Oh, I can't I can't take it anymore. Hold on. Hold Wait. on. One for the road. Okay, one for the road. One for the road. Right on the dude's nose. And I'm talking like this dude is Samoan, right? He's got a big wide nose. Mm -hmm. In cursive, I smell bitches. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>